Hi guys, Mimi G here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about making my body oil. So I get asked um, quite often about my skincare routine or my um, what I use on my body, lotion wise, what I use on my face, all these sorts of things. So um, I have shared some of my skincare routine over the years, um, but I've actually never talked about my body oil, which is actually one of my favorite, favorite things to do. Um, I do sometimes make my own face oils, um, but I love skincare products, and so I try things all the time just because um, it's interesting to me. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm 44 years old, so I take a lot of um, caution in what I put on my face and on my body uh, so that I could stay looking as youthful as possible <laughs> for as long as possible. Um, and one of the things that I like to do is uh, make my own body oil because why are you neglecting your body? Uh, a lot of times I see people doing their face and applying moisturizer and all the skincare stuff and then they like stop like right here. And I'm like, but what about your neck and your chest? Like you don't want old neck and chest. You know what I'm saying? That's not cute. Um, so I always want to make sure that I have a good overall moisturizing oil for my body and I like making it <laughs> because... Um, I have tried store-bought uh, products, but I have really dry skin and nothing ever really seems to work. So a couple of years ago, I had done some internet searching on body oils and how to DIY, and I had found a recipe that I really liked. I've sort of tweaked it um, you know, over the years and I still tweak it now, but this is my favorite combination. So I will preface this by saying that this works for my body, <laughs> my skin type. I don't know if it will work for you. So if you do decide to put together this body oil that I'm going to show you today, do a patch test, right? Check it um, somewhere on your body, see how your body reacts to it, um, and go from there. Make your own decisions <laughs> at your own risk. Um, I mean, it's pretty basic though. So um, I use a carrier oil and then I use some essential oils. Actually, I use three carrier oils um, and then I add essential oils to that and it smells delicious. This one is very citrusy um, and so it's probably one of my favorites because you may have heard me mention over the years that I am very sensitive to smell, specifically perfumes. So in my household, nobody can wear perfume. My husband cannot wear cologne. My son cannot wear cologne. Um, the detergent to wash my clothes has to be unscented. Um, my kids can only use candles in their room and they have to close the door. Like they can't just leave the door open because I get a headache almost immediately and my stomach starts to hurt. It's just not a good good feeling. So, but what I have noticed, um, is that citrusy smells or things that smell sort of medicine-y like peppermint, eucalyptus, things like that don't bother me. So that's what my oil is based on. Um, so I'm going to go through these, uh, in detail and I'll show you how I put it together. But basically I use, um, jojoba oil, avocado oil, and I use rosehip oil. So just really two quick things. Um, Avocado oil is not the greatest if you have oily skin, okay? So if you have oily skin, you probably would not want to use the avocado oil as your carrier. The carrier oil is basically the most amount of oil that you're gonna be using. Um, so I would probably avoid avocado oil if you have oily skin. Now, jojoba oil and avocado oil are my favorites as far as uh, dry skin for my skin. This is very hydrating for me. Like I put avocado oil in uh, my little mixture here and it just makes me feel so soft and hydrated for a very long time. So, but like I said, I have very dry skin, so this works for me. Um, and then rosehip oil is also really good and works for most everybody. Um, and what I love about the rosehip oil is that it has anti-aging um, benefits and so, like your girl said, you know, I'm 44, I'm trying to keep this, all of this together <laughs> as long as I can. Um, and then as far as the essential oil, now I've used a lot of essential oils um, in my mixtures over the years. Sometimes I use um, tangerine or I'll use, um, I don't know, 
uh, lavender or eucalyptus, all different sorts of things. But for this specific one, because this is my favorite, um, I use orange oil, lemon oil, and lemongrass oil. Um, so those are the three that we're gonna be using in this video today. So before I mix these together, I want to let you know the reasons why I use those three specific essential oils, although I have and still use a variety of different mixes. This is probably my favorite. So the lemon has um, skin brightening and it also tightens an, uh, aging skin or saggy skin. The orange is great for anti-aging and it also um, increases oxygen and blood flow. And then lemongrass is a great antiseptic and astringent. So those are the reasons why I use those three specific essential oils. Okay, so um, you could do this in these little plastic ones, uh, plastic jars that I get. You can order these on Amazon. I got like, I don't know, six of them for like just a couple bucks. Um, and I sometimes use this uh, to mix like small batches of oil. But for this, I use it all the time, right? So I use it while I'm in the shower. So as soon as I'm done showering, before I dry my body off, I spray myself with the oil I put it on and then um, I dry, pat dry my myself. So, um, and then like sometimes before bed, if I just want like a little citrus smell or just want some more hydration, I will go ahead and add more. But for the most part, if I do this like in the morning after my workout, after I'm showered and um, I generally don't need to do it again until the next day because my, like I said, my body stays very hydrated with this um, mix of oil. So what I started to do was, I started ordering these glass jars from also from Amazon. So I got both of these and I'll link to these in my description box below. But what I love is that it's glass and it's big um, and it has a great nozzle so I can literally like, you know, um, and spray my body down, y'all. Sometimes I'll just do it in my hands and then rub it on. Um, but uh, either one will work. I just prefer the pretty glass jars. So I would normally do this overhead, but I'm having overhead issues today. So we're just going to do it this way. So I'm going to give you the mix and I'll put the mix also in the description box below for you guys. But it's basically for me, I use two ounces of rosehip oil, two ounces of jojoba oil and two ounces of the avocado oil. Now I will say, um, let me make sure I have all three. Yep. Okay. So I will say that, uh, the rosehip oil is fantastic um, for like combination skin um, and most everybody um, has no reaction or anything to the rosehip oil but like I said do a patch test okay I don't want y'all coming for me uh, if it doesn't agree with you <laughs> it does have great um, anti-aging benefits it also offers antioxidants to my skin and vitamin a which is why i use the rose hip oil you can use just one of these oils as your carrier like you can choose oh i just want to do jojoba oil or oh i just want to do avocado oil whichever one works for you is fine but i like to mix all three of them together so um the avocado oil is fantastic fantastic for me it's probably the most hydrating so the uh, jojoba oil is also one that uh, works for just about anybody, um, so it's great if you have like combination skin or dry to normal skin, it would work really great for you. So again, choose which one you're gonna do, but if you're following this one exact, it's two ounces of each of those three. And then uh, the essential oils are lemon, orange, and lemongrass, and we're gonna do between six and 18 drops of each of those. Um, the other thing I want to mention really quickly is that I always make sure that my oil is cold pressed and unrefined, um, and these are also chemical free. So you wanna make sure that you're getting really good essential oils um, because I have seen some that are not that great. And so you wanna make sure um, that if you're putting it on your body, that it's good. So, all right, uh, enough talking. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I do this really quickly. And like I said, normally I would do this overhead, but we have an issues today, y'all. I'm gonna take this off. So these here are four ounce bottles. This is, I'm starting with the rose hip oil, certified organic. Um, so I'm basically just gonna pour half of this bottle into this bottle. Okay. 
I'm gonna do the same thing with my avocado. So I just removed the little Doppler. Drop, Doppler? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. And then you're gonna repeat that for the jojoba oil. I feel like a chemist, y'all. Okay. So now that we have our carrier oils together, we're gonna go ahead and do the essential oils. Okay, so the essential oils sometimes come with these little caps where you can like uh, 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 to try and get droplets out, but that's a pain in the ass. So I just pop it off and I use these little Dopplers because it's just easier. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my um, orange oil. We're gonna do six to 12, really just depends on what you like. I usually do like 12. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my a lemon. We're gonna do 18 drops of the lemon. Okay. We're gonna do 12 of the lemongrass. Okay. Sweet. And then I just put my top back on and I shake this vigorously. Child, my wig gonna fall off. Okay. So that's it. You just shake it up and you're done. And this will be so delicious for your skin, guys. I promise you. If you have like normal to dry skin, this specific blend will be amazing. And like I said, if you have oily skin, just don't use the avocado oil. Stick to the rose hip and the jojoba and leave out the avocado oil. Just do three ounces of rose hip, three ounces of jojoba, and just don't do the avocado oil. Add your essential oils and it's just delicious. You smell like a big old citrus fruit and you're gonna feel silky and buttery delicious. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace.